Oh shit. Oh fuck. What's that? Who's that? I think we're stopping those noises, please. Uh, alright. Infirmary. Okay, so we got biologic laboratory. Where? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ross. Fuck you. Don't do that. All good. My instincts really want to close that door. But I also don't want to make any noise. Oh, fucking hell. The thing's coming. Fucking hell. No, 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 no. Oh, what just happened? It just started fucking running at me. Events in order. Simon's brain scan. Humanity moved to the bottom of the sea. I commented, because why the hell not? Paul went crazy. Simon brought back to life through Imogen's dead body. Yeah, that's roughly right. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't humanity that moved to the bottom of the sea. Um... It was literally just like where we are uh, with Omnicron and Theta and everything. Uh, I don't remember the name of the entire facility right now, but it is uh, it was a research uh, lab and a satellite launch facility. Um, they have like um, uh, they have a railgun to shoot up satellites and uh, they did aquatic research and st other stuff. So it's just a small crew of, um, well, what we've seen is roughly 50 people, right? Uh, living down here and doing stuff. Or, I'm not sure if it was 50 people total or 50 people when they started doing the ARC scans. Um, and while they were living down here, comets hit, a comet hit the surface and everything died. Still don't know what's turning some peeps into monsters. I think it's the WoW combined with, you know... I mean, the reason why Asker's like turned himself into a monster is, is literally just madness. Anyway, we are in, in Omnicrawl now. Oh. We can't get the memory from this person either. Or from this person, probably. I mean, if the black box is in the head. Yeah, exactly. If the black box is in the head, then it's gonna be hard to actually get anything. All right. Man, so I don't know how clearly this comes th comes through on the stream, but there's definitely a monster here. I was just gonna say that there's like a blur thing, con like almost constantly on the stream now, and I'm getting a little bit of a headache from it. Oh shit. Oh fuck. What's that? Who's that? Somebody named Ross just popped in to say hello. Global lockdown uh, active. Override at dive room console. Do you want to say anything else? No. Alright, die room this way. Cool. But considering that this is like the research facility and you know like the, the wow that's been at least turning people into robots. Um that one was created here, so maybe what's creating the like EMP monsters, because they're hostile to robots, so I don't think that they're actually, you know, that's probably not the wow. Because why would the WoW create, like, EMP robots that hurt... Hurts the robots that it's trying to preserve, right? That doesn't make any sense. I literally just realized that. Like, why, why would the WoW create 
stuff that actually hurts the things it's preserving. And who the hell is Ross? And what do we need to stop? I should not run. Last time we run, we just immediately died. Oh, so we can't... Nope, can't get back out. Okay. On the one hand, that sounds like a no-no. On the other hand, it feels like we went the right way. Fits me? We've been there. I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. I feel like Simon switches a lot from being completely on board with this plan to going, Oh no, I could never do that. Uh, power suit tested. Honor Cross Guns. Uh, crown Operator ready. Look at that, everything was set to go on the checklist. It says that Look for a suit in the lockers. I'm reading lore, Catherine. You're gonna have to wait. It says that you need to put on a neoprene undersuit. Maybe that's what we are. We've already seen this, haven't we? No, there are less people now, I think. I think in the other photo, they were at least two more people. Yeah, it is Kath. This is uh, Catherine right to the left there. If there are any power suits left, they should be in the So I, at least she survived this far. This looks gross. Alright. Remote control. Oh shit, what the suits. fuck just She's happened? A woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. Yeah, it definitely wasn't that person in there. I kind of missed the gruesome part though because I was curious about other stuff in the room. Whoops. Uh Alright. D. Odd D. Not exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Lucky us. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. Oh, I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon, I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here. 
here if that's okay. I'll be back. Uh, alright. So that's where the other ones are, I guess? Or, no, this... One is here, and some are over here. Some actually made it to Tau, some got stuck in the climber station. We can't use this for anything, right? No. Well, not yet, at least. Alright, so we need to go further into Omnicron to find... Structure gel, cortex chips. chips. Thank you. Yep, yeah, so just going over that. Definitely not going to be monsters here or anything, right? Wouldn't be much of a horror game if there weren't any any monsters stuff. <laughs> Underwater water uh, simulator. So why could we go in here? Was there any reason for that? No. Uh, didn't get any hints. So I guess we just keep on walking until we find monsters, right? Oh, this is active now. Didn't used to be active. No, no. No, I don't think that's what we're doing. I think we're stopping those noises, please. Uh, Alright. Infirmary, okay, so we got biologic laboratory. Where? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ross. Fuck you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hmm. What's up with this naming scheme for containment? Containment 2, 1, and B. Oh, those are like bugged out. These are bugged out. Um, stop the wow. Oh my god. Ross, we just talked about this. Don't do this to me, buddy. Johan Ross, dead on arrival. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin, begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. So this is actually after the ARC team has left. The AI psychologist, so they probably know the WoW better than most people, right? Shelly, dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it, identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout that the Robbie can't shut up about. So, I think we can, from all of this, guess that the WoW infection is actually even worse further down in the abyss. An unusually sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. Uh, it had remarkable brown growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it into study, but stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. Kept swinging, 
Kept swinging around for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Okay, this all sounds uh, real good. Real good. Alright, East Stairwell, Hydrophonics. Super dead person. Oh my god. Their hand is still moving. That is nasty. Um, but we can't try to even read their mind. It's a good question why Ross can talk to us through telepathy. Another question is why do they both exist and not exist um, and keep flashing, you know, in and out like that. Wait, this is where we came from, is it not? Robot repair bay dispatching container. Dive room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we came from. Can't open. Can't interact. Power room maintenance. Are we supposed to do something? Here? With these? No. With this? No. Well. Oh. Error removing lockdown. That's what we were supposed to do. System overload. Um, so what's the plan here? No, 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 wait. I don't like these whispering sounds. Wait, what are, what are we doing? I don't, I don't feel like I'm solving this, that's for sure. Well, this definitely feels more promising. Not now, Jonathan. Alright, there we go. We just, like, <laughs> keep doing what we've done since the beginning of the game. We just open all the doors that people have locked, probably for good reasons. That's all fine. It's all good. Why are there no heads anywhere? Are we just gonna find like a huge bag of black boxes? Check previous results. Could something add something something? Hey the All right. Is that like wow liquid? And just how insanely quickly it grows. But then why did it stop at this point? All right. Uh, structure yield has been charged. And actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuit, it seems to help out with connectivity. Okay, so it didn't have any more power, that's why it stopped. Jonathan, I am hearing you. But you gotta give me clearer instructions. Uh, T, 
seems like it's not only connectivity but even functionality the yell can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently however the modification that the wow has made to the yell are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense when applied to something more complicated it causes the yell to act as a cancer upon the host eventually ruining it get the virus okay well that's a little bit clearer at least thank you we could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. Yet caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The course was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Fuck, what did it that what did that say? I didn't see it. Reanimated another mouse with structure yell. This time it was done with uncalibrated yell as produced by er Ames. The results were impressive. The thing appears cataconic, but it is more of a sleepwalker. We're gonna see we're gonna see people that are that are this. hundred percent we're gonna see people that are sleepwalkers or whatever. An eternal nightmare. Is what that said. Uh, to avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This is also provided us with the ability to somewhat control it. The structure yell remains unchanged on a fundamental level. How was the dates between this, by the way? Alright, so it's all within the same year from start to finish. Here we are at the end of the year. The structure yell remains unchanged fundamental level. It's the same crosslink yell with graphene. The problem is not yell, but it's controller, the wow. The yell has not taken on any new properties. The wow simply uses it in ways that we would never have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all the form creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the wow via structure yell. They have in some manner been exposed to charged yell and in turn stricken by cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. Looks like it's not going to make easier for us to survive. Okay. Alright, so this is how the structure yell interacted with different things and bottom right is a uh, rat and they've never seen anything of that speed um guess we open here what's this this seems like a bad idea but, okay. Are we supposed to do it right on it? Right there? Alright, yep. It grew into a little thing straight away. Can we take it? Are we not supposed to take it? Right, you go back in there. Should we just pour some structure yell right there? No, that, that doesn't seem to do anything. There's a little ship there. Oh, it came back to life. There's something like it. The bad part. All right. 
we cannot put it out of his misery, unfortunately. And taking this one doesn't seem like what we're supposed to do. Can't do anything there. But what was the point of this? Oh. Service required. Can't do any service. But we can slather some uh, structure yell on it. I'm sure that's what we're meant to do. It doesn't seem like a good idea, but... Neither we nor Simon are exactly experts at this, so... That's what we're doing. Alright, you have been serviced. Yeah, the sound is super sad. All right, first thing gotten. Do we need to go and leave this somewhere or do we just keep carrying it? Got anything to say, Ross? Yep, yep, you do. Oh man, you you do not look well. Oh god, a healing thing. Thank you. That's not good. Um, broken computers, fantastic. What's alpha? So is alpha like a secret site? Is that it? And it was Ross talking to this person as well? Okay, Ross in the bow. So this is one... Okay, one month something after Ross was found, I think. Confirm the correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass yard for a couple of seconds and witness a massive drop in readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest to find a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Ross recharging. Wow is definitely repairing Ross' corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. Somehow the wow primarily relegated to the structure inside the walls, is bombarding the course with every system it can access. The glass yard is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instruct instructing Yell already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Oh, so that's JR. Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross hits 100. That's what they were talking about before. Okay. I'm 
down here is all the wow fishes and stuff. Wasn't there a wow squid? Or did I see that incorrectly? I mean, just this thing. But I thought I thought I saw a bigger thing as well. All right, what am I supposed to do here? We could open this door, so it seems likely that we're supposed to fetch something in here. Hmm? Structure, yell, ship, and what more? battery pack well okay I mean it, it doesn't really look like there's anything to fetch here hey right. well I guess this was just a lower room oh god so I guess Jonathan Ross is actually still technically like in there and that's why there's so much wow around here as well because it was like trying to get at his body, right? Alright, what's in here? Oh lot of nothing. Alright, are you gonna do something spooky? No. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. Home of the Ark. Acker. I don't know why I assumed it was going to be called the Ark. Presence. Oh, upper only ground load. Okay. So incorrect flow select. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, it just opened. Nice. Power room seems like a place for a battery pack. Battery pack? No. Battery? No. I guess not in here. Fine. Person with or without head. Um. Kind of with head. Holy shit. That's gotta be one of the worst ones we've seen so far. Damn. That, that person got it rough. nothing in here high performance rechargeable packs wait do we need to build our own because there's none in here or what oh that yeah there we go there, there's there's one of them people that I think is gonna be a bad time. So how do we deal with these? Oh, oh my god. What are they doing? I don't like that. Go this way. Where are they? They don't have a head, I don't think. I think they have a machine head. 
Are they coughing or screaming? They didn't like that. They kind of remind me of the monsters from GTFO. Oh my god, they have like a crab claw. Where you just need to be quiet enough when they're being upset. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. Alright, at least it opened this time. We're good, we're good. Alright, we got it, we got it. Slowly get up. I don't want to see what happens when they get really upset. So we're just gonna try to sneak out of here. Nope. Okay, it's okay. Just a little cranky. I would be too if my skull was replaced by a microwave. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Ooh. Ooh, okay. See you later. All right. Two things got him. Poison the well. Where might that be? Yeah, more static. That's not surprising. Interact with computer? Yes, we can interact with computer. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive. Delenda S. What's that mean? Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. Oh. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Delenda Est. Delenda Est. So that's why the WoW tried so hard to revive Ross. It was mourning it. About to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our Man. dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Yeah, I literally just, as we were listening to that last one, realized that the reason why none of these people have their head is because their heads literally exploded. All of them. That's why. Damn. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ross made it back to Tau, and so we continue his... Alright, so Tau got evacuated. Wait, I need to actually... I kind of just glanced over this because of so much text. Why did Tau get evacuated? Oh, it just got ordered, but we don't actually get to learn why. Something got cut her in two. Something big had almost cut her in two. Damn. You know where to possibly improve? I heard back to the climber. Okay, yeah. The Tau got evacuated. Alright, and they just wanted... They just wanted Ross to keep working on... Wow. But yeah, that's crazy. Their heads all uh, exploded because of the... Um, interference that the WoW caused on their black boxes. You wanna say something? No, oh, okay. What else do we have to look at here? That's closed, but over here is something. Over here is a... bunch of people without heads. Oh man. It's gonna be static, right? Yeah. We can't use that. Okay, this is the airlock. Maybe we're gonna have to go back here later. But I think now... Oh fuck, that body's gone now. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, everybody on Omicron probably got their head exploded at like at least roughly the same time. Where's that body? And also, how do you do we get down to lower? Is it through here? No, this is where we came in from, and there wasn't any- no, there is another dorm. Oh my god. There's like... <laughs> There's like dust or something right there coming in, and that actually scared the shit out of me. No monsters? No. No monsters. Yet. Override? Definitely have a monster on the middle floor now. I don't trust that thing either. Oh, okay, so when we got these matched up, we can inject the Cortex chips. How are we supposed to... ...match them, though? Like, what is what, what's open and what's closed? Is this good? No, 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 that's connected. Okay, so we need to connect all of these and all of these, is what I assume. Like that. Like this. Can we not have any waste, is the issue. 
like any outstanding ones. Cause that makes it harder if everything needs to connect perfectly. So that's probably the case. Which means that this one and this one is incorrect right now. Could do that. And we could do that one like this. No, we can. Because then we still need this one. If this one needs to touch three things, it needs to go like that. Because there's nothing above, right? Same for this one. This one needs to be like that. This one could just go like that. <laughs> this one is the only one that can go like that. This is good though, right? Shouldn't this work? Or do they need to be connected to each other as well? Wait, what's happening? Oh my god, it doesn't connect through the... Alright. It, it doesn't connect through those, it connects through the literal opposites. That's good to know. What happens if we activate the robot? Hi. Nothing? Yeah, okay. Well, that, this made the whole thing much easier. Once you actually... ...understood how the puzzle worked. Alright, that's the last part, right? Quite sure. Well, most of a face left at least. Good on you. Kinda looks like you have a GPU stuck in your chest though. Oh, is this the virus? Into the abyss. Take it into the... Oh. Did you have something to say here? What's that? That's the liquid thing. The heart of Alpha. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the yell to Alpha. Oh, the uncoded, the uncoded yell, right? Or the unaltered, or whatever it was called. Starfleet, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? I uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Well, you heard we're leaving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to take us off. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right, heading into radio silence. All right. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Okay, so she... What was her name? She's like a listener. She was a, a, a radio operator or something. So that's probably why she like heard Jonathan Ross more or better or whatever. So 
Judging from this, we want to take the um, unaltered structure yell and inject it into the heart of um, the WoW, which is probably gonna make it like less aggressive. I suppose. Okay, but I think we have all the things we need now, right? Yeah, that's where we came in. Right, mon monster somewhere. Maybe not running. But the question is, have we gotten that virus that Jonathan Ross is speaking of? Like, that is the structure that we... we oh, fucking hell. Yep. Come on. Ta tag along. You're fucking freaky. But so far you seem to be... Friendly. Do we need to go through the medical bay? I actually don't remember. No, we're good. We're good. All good. My instincts really want to close that door. But I also don't want to make any noise. Oh fucking hell! The thing is coming! Fucking hell! No 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 no! Oh, what just happened? It just started fucking running at me. What the fuck? Oh my god. Very uncool. I'm gonna blame that on Jonathan. God damn it, it was so fast. <sighs> Alright. And explosion! I'm cool. I'm still. Don't have no problems. I played GTFO. I know how to deal with things like you. Alright. So the question is, should we just absolutely leg it after we get into that tunnel? I mean, I guess probably, right? Because sneaking didn't fucking work. Oh, you actually can't even close that door. So, I'm gonna guess. So, as this happened, we just fucking run. And we do not stop for anything. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. That, that was it. It is very angry. It's a very, very angry. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Oh, he's just fucking... This is crazy. Yeah, but... Robot head in there. And then sure pour some yell on it. was it? No, oh, right, right, none of these. It's this one. And then pod D. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Who's car. actually really gonna, like, change move our yes. if you wanna stay here, ship, not though? Stand in your way. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be in the share. We're gonna go into the share to transfer it. Close my eyes and then. And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Good luck. 
Go sit in the pod Love this chair. In the next room. You might need to boot it up. Yeah, all right. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. All right. Closer, further away. Closer? No? No, 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 that, that's worse. That looks better, but the offset is wrong. That's close. We need a longer. Oh, we're so close now. There we go. Awesome. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? Let's go. With the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> That's exactly what we said the first time we got into the share. Why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kat. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm yeah. sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? He's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Alright, so morality choice. Is it better to just kill the Simon or let them come back into this more or less hellscape? But also, why does it sound like they're breathing? They would absolutely have no reason to breathe. This is how we looked, huh? Kind of looked like one of the Yavas from uh, Star Wars. Um, thank you for your service, old Simon. You did well. Rip. I think that's probably gonna be better for them instead of being stuck on Omnicron with only the ghouls to hunt you. To new adventures. Do we just jump here? 
Is that the idea? There's like... Or are we supposed to go... Right over here and I just missed it? And we're not supposed to just jump straight into a hole? Yeah, this seems... seems more likely, right? Yeah, there's an actual ladder here and everything. Look at that. Alright. Oh, hello. Yeah. Activate the clown, please. Sure thing. Uh... Oh, she's so upset now. Well, understandably, but... Descend. We are one passenger. Do we click something? Or do we just sit down? Oh, it's ready. Alright, there we go. Would that be possible? Kind of afterlife. They think my place is taken. The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? I mean, I wouldn't think that heaven would be full of redundant copies there's not that many people that have been copied i basically flipped a coin and if i had called the wrong side i'd be rotting away at omicron i mean there's nowhere to know right you didn't hit the make sure simon wakes up in the right body switch did you not that you would know i mean he would still claim to be the right sign christ this is awful we did an awful fucking thing and you wouldn't mind why would you how could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. That's reasonable. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... 
fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Do we need to climb up, would we? Hmm. Thank God I don't have thalassophobia. Oh, there's something there. Should we hide from that? Or is this just floaty stuff? That's pretty and things. Hey, I know it's not much, but okay, yeah, yeah. The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's it's pressure set up hard. again. I'm really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. <laughs> Better phrasing, thank you. All right, the sun. Um. All right, do I sit down again? I'll probably just sit down again. Does, does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels a minute more than a minute. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. Rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. They quickly resolve their differences. That's nice, at least. Um, every now and then, this screen flashes with like what looks like a station that's all broken up and shit. Oh no! What the fuck are you? No, no, no. Oh, this is Ross? That's Ross, I suppose. Welcome to the elevator. What the fuck? Yeah, if we die, Catherine is basically stuck in this elevator. Like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following in old footsteps, Cat. When I have footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. All right, let's head for Tala and find that arm. Alright. Oh, swipe. Because we need to use keys. Jonathan Ross, he just climbs everywhere. That's it for Soma Part 5, exploring Omnicron and meeting up with Dr. Jonathan Ross. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to catch us live, you can catch us live at twitch.tv slash greatcatgaming. Part 6 is going to be out real soon, so stay tuned for that. See you next time.